everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. She is an actress, philanthropist, and former Miss World. She now stars in and executive produces the new film, The White Tiger. Please welcome Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Priyanka, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I haven't seen you since 2017, I think. I know, it's been, too, it's been too long. Before I start off, I just want to say, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong over here, I think you may be winning the best Zoom background so far of the <laughs> pandemic. I mean, that is some beautiful <laughs> staging you've got there. I... Let me tell you, I committed to the Zoom thing a lot earlier than most people. Everyone's waiting for, you know, us Zooming to be over. When, we, when, when are we going back to offices? Yes. That's not happening for a while. So I committed and I bought Amazon lights and I found an area in my house and set it up. Well, yeah. A friend of mine did, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the last time we were together, you were Priyanka Chopra. Now you're right. Priyanka Chopra Jonas. First of all, congratulations. <laughs> To Nick Thank Jonas, you so much. right? Come on, of course. come on. Um, <laughs> well, how how is pandemic marriage? Um, it's great because we still like each other. Oh, so that's that's always, that's always good. That's mm -hmm, always good. That's important. <laughs> also, um, I don't think we both have had such individual careers that I don't think we would have had six months with each other ever. So that's really a blessing, and I was really happy to be able to have that time with each other. Did you watch the inauguration of uh, the new president, yes, vice did. president? You did. Okay. Well, a as a South Asian woman yourself, what, what did it what did it mean to you to see the new vice president to be the first a female, first South Asian, first uh, African American vice president? Well, a couple of things. It was such an emotional moment for a lot of my friends and family, but. Coming from a country like India, which has seen several women in governance from prime ministers to presidents, you know, welcome to the club, America, is what I'd say. Like, you know, high time. And I hope this is not the first. I hope this is many, many, because this is what governance should look like. And leadership looks amazing, especially when it's diverse and especially when it's reflective of what the world really looks like. Um you, you recently posted something that I would like to show our audience right now. This is, uh, I guess you're 17 years old in this photo. <laughs> and uh, here you have it. Lean, mean, and all of 17. And this is before right. you were Miss World, before you were Miss India. Uh -huh. what, what was your plan at that age? What, what did you think you were gonna do? Well, I was in high school. This was 12th grade and, you know, I was kind of feeling myself. It was all about like making sure I get through my exams, which at that time were really daunting for me. Um, and, you know, I had just been selected for Miss India. And uh, I think I was just like really figuring out what my model self looked like. Mm -hmm. And right now, looking back, I'm like, where did these curves come from? I used to be really lean. <laughs> I have a question. When I when I first interviewed you, you were already huge in India, and you were coming over to do uh, the, your your first television show in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, when you first came over to the United States, I, I know this is like a, a tiny, petty, and unimportant question, but I'm always curious. Chinese people who come to the United States see Chinese food and go, "That's not Chinese food." Italian people come to the United States and see our our, our Italian food, they go, that, "That's not Italian food." Is Indian food that you get in the United States actually Indian food, or is it an Americanized version of it? No, I think if you go to the right place, there's such a large Indian American community in America that I've been to restaurants which are super authentic and have some, I mean, I've definitely had food which is super authentic, um, but just because I think it lends to such a large community here. But if you come to India, we flavorize every cuisine with spices and Indian food. There's Indian Chinese, Indian Italian, Indian everything. <laughs> the, the new movie is White Tiger, The White Tiger. It's based on a 2008 yes. novel, and it won the Man Booker Prize. Now you've executive produced the movie. What, what is it about, and who do you play? Well, the movie is actually really interesting. The book is based predominantly on an ambitious man who 
wants to defy what his birth has, um, you know, destined for him. People's birthright, depending, he's born in this vortex of poverty and the socioeconomic divide that is ever increasing. Um, this is sort of a man trying to like claw his way out. It's a story about ambition. It's told it's very sarcastically. It's funny. My character is, um, he becomes a driver and my character is the, the, the people who he works for. And I play an American girl who comes in and is woke and, you know, tries to sort of um, relate to him and tells him, you know, you should get out of the circumstances that you're in. I pulled myself out of it, not realizing the complexities of being born into poverty. Um, and is gray herself, you know, when it's convenient, she's not as woke. So I love that this movie has a narrative about human nature, which is when it's convenient, we'll always bat for ourselves. I mean, sorry, that's a cricket reference, but yeah. No, we, we, we bat over here too. Great. <laughs> We have a clip here. Can you tell us what's happening in this? Um, yes, of course. Um, the clip that you're going to see is me and Balram, who's our driver, having a conversation and me telling him to pull himself out of his circumstances. Jim? Come here. Madam, I'm really sorry, madam. I'll just stop. It's fine. Sit. I'll just stop sit. eating pan, madam. No. Th no, that's not what I'm... Just sit down. I think it's wrong the way you work for us. You should be finishing your education, starting your own family. Asok sir, and you are family to me, madam. Don't say that. That's not true, Balram. Really, madam? No, you can't possibly believe that. Do you know what my parents do in America? They run the little bottega in Jackson Heights, selling beer, pan, and porn. I used to do my homework in the basement. One night, I saw my mom being held at gunpoint, and she still finished working the entire night. I got out, Balram. What is it that you want to do? I understand that the, the director, who is uh, Raman Barani, had a style of directing that you weren't used to. I, I heard the story. I'd love, you to, I'd love you to tell the story, because uh. as someone who's done some acting, I would find this uh, uh, disorienting as well. Go ahead. Right? It is. It was so funny. Uh, the lead actor of our movie, um, Adarsh, Others kept saying that it was so liberating as an actor, you know, to not have a director say action. So that's and the thing, the guy's I, thing, he doesn't yell action. That's the thing. Yeah. Ramin doesn't say yeah, action, he doesn't say cut. He says, whenever you're ready. And he just like, the camera rolls and whenever you're ready, you start acting. So now for others, he loved it. He was like, oh, I didn't feel like a robot. Me, who's done like some 50, 60 movies and I'm used to, you know, going on action. It's like almost like a race, you know, ready, set, go. You know when to start. So I'm waiting for action. The camera's behind me and I'm like, all right, first day. And there's no action, I turn around and he was like, oh, you just, you just go. And I was, I was so thrown off. And then he doesn't say cut. So I'm used to, like, I keep the scene going, you know, improving till the director says cut. And he doesn't. So he comes and stands right next to us and starts giving you instructions. And I'm like, oh, I guess, I guess we cut. I would, I would, I, that would make me extraordinarily nervous. I, I was so on tenterhooks the whole time. I was like, when, when is the camera on? <laughs> well, The White Tiger is in select theaters now and it premieres on Netflix Ooh. this Friday. Priyanka Chopra Jonas, everybody. We'll be right back with the creators of In and of Itself, Derek Delgaudio and Frank Oz.